Hello everyone, this is Annalisa with Inside Real Estate and I wanted to make sure you were aware of how to add in the elements of social media so people can access, access those on your website. So this is my website as an agent, as a team member and so forth. And you'll notice at the top right, I have my links for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and while I'm doing this, while I'm hovering over these, if you look towards the bottom left, when I highlight those, you're going to see the actual website appear at the bottom left here as I highlight and hover over these social media. So if I hover over F for Facebook, if you look to the bottom left, you'll see it has my Facebook link right there. So whenever people click on this, it takes them to that link. Same with Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, and uh, Instagram. So how do we get these to land where they should so they make these connections? It's really, really easily attained in your dashboard. So the neat thing about this is you can adjust these for, of course, yourself on your own profile. If you've got admin access, perhaps you can help a lender or an agent or a team or office out, but I wanna make sure you're aware of how to get these added in. So for today's example, I am just going to edit a team. So I'm just going to click into the team of which I want to add this content. And once this loads up, I'm going to be adding that social media handle within here for the demo team. So I'm just gonna click edit. And it immediately opened up this information here. Now, what I did prior to this is I created a sheet so I could find, okay, what do I have my social media on and what is the link to that social media page just so I won, so I have it, where I can also drop in my sign in and password for, of course, my papers only. Uh, but I wanna say, you know, here's my Facebook name, here's my LinkedIn, my Facebook page, et cetera. And this is always good to have anyway. So if you look at these different pages, like if we look at my business page for Facebook, this link up here in my browser on the top left facebook.com forward slash Annalisa Inside Real Estate forward slash is my link to this page. So that's why I dropped it in uh, within this link to page. Same thing with Instagram. It has instagram.com Valkyrie song. That's my handle on Instagram. So I dropped that link here. And I did the same thing for LinkedIn, uh, which when you're looking at LinkedIn in your own profile, you're just going to go up to your browser and grab it and copy it. Uh, I used to also use the same thing for my Twitter handle and YouTube. So I grabbed all of my links to these entities and dropped them here. So now when I look back at my Kiwi Core platform, I can say, oh, perfect, Facebook URL. I can just drop in there, copy it, paste it in. And I can do that for all of these. So if I wanted to go with Instagram next, I would just copy it and drop it in. And I can do this for as many of these as I want to. I'm making sure, of course, I put Instagram in the Instagram URL section, right? But you can do as many of these as you want to, or you can omit them if you like. And then uh, you just scroll back up to the top right and save. So right now I just added Facebook and Instagram. So if I open up my site here, is the system is going to manifest those icons up here on the top right, just like they did on my own uh, personal page. So again, you can jump into your system for Teams. So you can click on the your name on the upper right if you have access to admin, depending. You can go into Agents, Lenders, Teams, Offices, and make these adjustments. And when you get to the page of which you want to adjust, just click Edit paste those handles in. As soon as you've got that done, scroll back up, click save, and uh, it will update that front side site. I hope you have a great day.